Hello again. You've reached me. I would rather not wear my glasses, um, but I will need to at some point. So I'll just keep them on the top there. And today I'm going to be reviewing this album by Go Kart Mozart, which was their debut album called Instant Wigwam and Igloo Mixture. Came out in 1999. Now, uh, this was the vehicle of Lawrence, who was once in Felt um, in the 1980s. And then Lawrence's vehicle after Felt was Denim, who released two albums, at least two albums, I believe. And then after that, he moved on to Go Kart Mozart. Now, uh, those of you who know Felt or know Lawrence um, will know that um, the difference between Felt and Denim and then Go Kart Mozart is quite pronounced, to put it mildly. Um, in fact, when you listen to this 1999 Go Kart Mozart album, you just think to yourself, how on earth did we get here? Um, if you know and if you listen to those earlier Felt albums, there was no sign, really. Maybe the last Felt album that came out in uh, 89, 10 years before this. Maybe there was some signs that they were veering towards this sort of thing. But um, it's a whole new world. It's um, Whereas the more um, jangly and um, beautiful and introspective and the cool sound of felt um, made way for the more um, post-rock or, shall we say, pastiche-driven, um, pastiche-driven and jokey, sort of tongue-in-cheek um, parody songs of Denim and even probably more so Go-Kart Mozart. Um, Denim uh, were obsessed um, with the 70s, did songs about loving the 70s and loving the Osmonds. Um, whereas Go Kart Mozart are almost like a karaoke band in a suitcase, if you will. Um, their sound just sounds like um, Bon Tempe organ, um, press a button, uh, and there you have it. Um, completely different to felt who um was just a completely different experience and um well um you can't look at them in the same way really but um a, a little review of this album basically i would say um you have to take it very lightly it's quite it's hilarious in places let me just put these back on um for instance tracks like um sailor boy which is a short song um, with rather um, sexual um, references in there, shall we say, which are rather um, disturbing, but quite amusing, I suppose. Um, then there's another little track on it. There's two of these numbers where it's just like a complete blur of synthetic noises and synthy noises, city synthesis, just chaos. Your ears, well, my eyes, my ears couldn't take it for any longer than the whatever one minute long thing that it is. So when it ends, it's like, thank God for that. Um, Drinking on Bongo is probably the, my, one of my favourites on it. Another song that they wrap into about 48 seconds, somehow um, somehow accommodating a sort of Sig Sig Sputnik sort of bass line back in the mix there. Um, other hilarious tracks include Hip Hop, that's hip hop. Um, and one which I find particularly unlistenable, Mrs. Back to Front and <laughs> the Boring Thing. So, um, yeah, what an experience. Um, you know, when you're young and um, um, uh, just a young fellow getting into new music, um, a band like Felt, um, you can be very serious about and um, uh, take those off. And, um, you know, it can have quite a um, profound effect on you because the music's so um, wonderful. Um, 
and um, Lawrence completely reinvented himself um, in the 90s uh, with denim and uh, go-kart Mozart. Um, uh, go-kart Mozart, they did four, they've done four albums and they're all about almost all six years apart. Uh, the last one came out in 2018. This is the only album I bought by Go-Kart Mozart, and I only bought one album by Denim as well, and that was their second album. I didn't ever bought the first album. There was something I couldn't quite get my head around buying an album with. Um, I loved the Osmonds <laughs> um, emblazoned across it, or um, whatever it was called. Um, and so, yeah, this is the only Go-Kart Mozart album I've got. I'm not sure if I could stomach any more, to be honest with you. I might buy the most recent, because I notice it's produced and includes Ian Button, who uh, was involved with the guitarist in Thrashing Doves, uh, amongst other things, who I was a bit of a fan of. So I might, I might indulge myself in that, but I understand it's even crazier than this one, um, their more recent album, which is called, let me just refer to my phone, and my pair of glasses. Their most recent album is called Mozart Estate Present Go Kart Mozart in Mozart's Mini Mart. Catchy little number. Um, I may one day get around to buying that. But um, as I say, the sound is um, it's very bass heavy, very, even though it's sort of retro, it's kind of digital sounding. Like, uh, as I say, Bon Tempe in a suitcase or a little band that you get out of a suitcase, press a button and away you go with all these crazy sounds and songs of pastiche and irony and um, the occasional one from the heart. But, but yeah. So, um, as you probably can tell, I'm not a massive fan. I think my wife, Caroline, might be more of a fan than I am. In, in fact, um, I'm going to give this album... I can't really give it any more than six out of ten. Um, I'll play it every now and again um, just for the um, novelty. That's another word. Novelty. That's what it is. That's a novelty. Novel novelty music, really. Um, quite clever in places, hilarious in places, but quite, for me, uh, quite disposable. Um, not quite throwaway. That's a bit cruel. But, um, yeah, I'm not a fan. But 6 out of 10, Go-Kart Mozart, their debut album, Instant Wigwam and Igloo Mixture, which came out in 1999. Thank you. So um, you can see it's the, the darkness is drawing in over there. I'm in a different room to what I was earlier on today. As I review CDs downstairs and I review vinyl upstairs. They're the guys back there. And, um, yeah, if you like to um, like this video, by all means, Click on like if you'd like to subscribe and click the subscribe icon and um, pass a comment if you want to as well. Anything you like. Anyway, um, that's me signing off for today. Um, I'm going to have a little break and then I'll be probably reviewing again in a couple of bad moment. But um, yeah, thanks for listening and um, I hope you have a good week. Cheers, mate. Bye bye.